Welcome back. This is part two. Um, so the first video I showed you uh, just some of the modes, the three modes that we have. Um, the original mode, mode one, mode two, which you're looking at right now, and mode three, uh, which is based on the slug driver um, and has uh, graphics capabilities. So we did a little playing with that. But this time I want to take you from uh, some of the basic to spin. Um, one of the key things we were missing with the Sphinx program from Michael Park was that we really just didn't have an editor. You, there wasn't either a good editor, there just wasn't space for the editor, or you know, a few people started on a project for an editor and it just never really got done. So what's kind of interesting about the, the Micromite is not only does it have basic, uh, on the chip, the MM Basic, but it's also got a full VT100 uh, editor. And uh, we can take advantage of that for more than just writing basic files. We can write spin files. So I'm back in mode two, and I'm going to load, and I'm going to load hello.spi into the memory. So I've just uh, transferred that by X modem from the propeller into the memory of the Micromite. Uh, in the background and we'll type edit and there's a little program that kind of was peeking out at us from before so we're back in the in the micromites editor let's go ahead and make some changes to this uh, code so we can see that something actually happened I'm gonna hit save now I need to send this back to the propellers SD card Right now, it's just in the memory of the Micromite, which is fine if I turn the power off, but I need to send this back for compiling, so I'm going to hit save, type save, or hit control S, and type hello.spi, short for spin. Now it's been sent back to the propeller, and now I'll begin the compiling process, the three-step compiling process that Sphinx has uh, by invoking control P, and there's Sphinx, and we'll type the file name, which is hello, and this will kick it into the Lex, which is the first part of the compiler. If it's successful, we should reboot back to mode two. Yep, perfect. So now we need to do uh, the next part. So we'll type brun or control B and run code gen dot bin. This is another propeller binary that's on the SD card. And we got a quick screen from CodeGen, and if we reboot, we're good. And we did, we're back. So the last step, I need to run another propeller binary. I need to link this, so we're going to control B, link.bin, and hit enter. And it runs the link part of Sphinx. And we're back to mode two. So we didn't get any errors in the process. Um, if I type dir, I should have in that collection of software, I should have a hello dot, let's see, I have a hello dot tok, the token file, hello dot sob, uh, which is the compiled, uh, the object. Uh, and I should have a hello dot bin, which is, there it is, the binary. And so let's try it, see if it runs. So we're gonna hit control B again type hello.bin and let's see if our program that we edited on the micromites editor slash propeller actually works and there we go so the missing piece is now available which is uh having a nice editor and you know if, if you didn't tie one of these little pick chips to your prop for any other reason just having a full editor that's VT100 compatible uh, is worth the $4 to me. Uh, so now we can edit and compile uh, not just basic programs or MM Basic, which is a more advanced basic, but we can also edit and compile spin code on the same self contained setup. So, uh, yeah, I'm about, about just like two inches away from not needing a PC at all to work with my microcontroller. And what was kind of exciting, um, you saw some pictures I posted uh, from a few nights ago at our DIY meet. We uh, tied a fourth, another prop running fourth, uh, into this combination. And we were able to run fourth 
from uh, from this setup. And so we could jump, if we wanted to, we could actually jump to editor and edit a fourth program and then load the terminal and work with that fourth program. We're, we're very close to being able to do that as well if we wanted to and all again in just a self-contained system. So I'm pretty excited about this. Um, the magic of this is that because the propeller has the capability of booting any binary file, which modes one, two, and three are just propeller binaries that are set to talk to talk to the micromite, uh, the capabilities here are completely unlimited. So mode four, we're planning on using an even higher resolution VGA driver, some sprites in there, uh, but we could just as easily do speech and uh, anything that the propeller is capable of doing as an output device could be made accessible uh, to the Micromite, to the basic, to the editor uh, in a self-contained system. So pretty cool and I'm pretty psyched about the project. Um, so stay tuned to the forums, uh, www.propellerpower.com or forums.propellerpower.com. In the general areas, this is a huge thread uh, about the project as it evolves, um, and I keep posting, you know, almost nightly updates to this to the first section. So this is uh, I'm having a lot of fun with this. It's definitely a great project. Uh, we'd invite you to get involved with it. Um, pick up a couple micromite chips, toss them on a breadboard like I've done here, hook them to your propeller. Uh, it, it just creates just this amazing little system. So hope to see you online. Also, uh, join us if you're in the Northeast Ohio area or can be in the Northeast Ohio area on August 30th. We are taking over the downstairs of our library. So we're not going to be out in Amish country, not quite in Amish country this year. Um, we're going to be a, about two miles north of there in downtown Orville. Um, we've got a fantastic facility that's been provided to us um, at no charge. To us, and it has all the amenities, the internet, uh, tables, chairs, all the stuff I got to worry about as an organizer, uh, already provided. And uh, they have given basically rolled out the carpet to our group. So if you're in this area, uh, definitely plan to join us August 30th for our Propeller Mini Expo slash Hackathon. Bring your propeller projects. And you know what? We're not just going to limit it to propellers this year. If you got Micromite, got an Arduino in your pocket, got some other thing that you're playing with, bring it along. We want to see it. Let's have some fun together, and we'll see you at that show. Talk to you later, guys.